Hello everyone, today I will show you how to fill the Scarlet Error uh, occurred in, occurred in Lamsa 7 using QGIS. You can uh, fill these uh, gaps or scan lines. Therefore, today uh, I will show you uh, how to do this uh, filling the gaps uh, occurred in Lamsa 7 using QGIS. Uh, there are steps I have put. The first one is data acquisition or required that is uh, data acquisition you can download from usgs uh, server using uh, earth explorer from earth explorer usgs uh, website you can uh, download uh, your landsat 7 image uh, in this tutorial the required one is landsat 7 so i have uh, Written uh, this uh, Landsat uh, 7 occurred uh, download uh, from USGS. This is 2007. This is uh, the date uh, and uh, the year in which our Landsat image is uh, accused. This is accusation uh, date and year. 2007 is a year, 03 is the month, and 03 is a uh, the, uh, the day. Therefore, this is uh, when you download. This is uh, in a zip folder. It will uh, in tar dot gz uh, file format. It will be downloaded in such a way. Then uh, you need to extract this uh, zipped uh, downloaded Landsat 7 image. Uh, and when you extract, uh, there is a gap mask folder here. And also, these are uh, the bands from band one to uh, band eight. Here are available. There is also uh, MTL of text. This is uh, a description about the product. You can view or open with WordPad. Everything. Uh, everything. Information available is here, so you can view uh, using this MTL text. So uh, open Erdas image here. Erdas image here. 2015. Then after uh, we open Erdas 2015, Erdas uh, image 2015 version, uh, then uh, there are menus Home, Manage Data, Raster, Vector, Tray, Toolbox, and Help. Uh, under the main raster, there is a focal analysis. And uh, using this focal analysis, we need to perform uh, filling the gaps occurred in Lansasa. So, correction must be. Uh, uh, done for all bundles available explicitly. So, uh, <coughs> so here there is the raster, there is spatial, under spatial, there is the focal analysis here. So, click this part now. Uh, I will show you for demonstration. For demonstration, uh, for demonstration only, only band two uh, is corrected to the four gap gaps. Uh, now I will show you how uh, we can go using Erdas Imagine. Therefore, the first one is to input the file. So open here. Select the input file. Click this one. Now go to the folder in which acquisition data acquired. Therefore, go to this is the folder in which we uh, put the data from ESGs 
this one this is my extracted data but wait this is my data but when i open it only gap mask folder is available the rest are hidden therefore this is because uh, file type file of types needs to be corrected because other types other data are available in not in a dot img therefore click tiff now this is band one there are eight bands available here but uh, for me i will show you how i corrected band two and uh, as you want, you can uh, select and pick and uh, correct every uh, band. For example, you may use uh, land use uh, cover map, and uh, if you want to perform classification, you may select band two, band three, and band four. Uh, mostly, uh, a minimum of three uh, bands is requi required. Therefore, you can uh, correct band two alone, band three alone, and. Uh, Finally, you need to correct band 4 as well. Therefore, correction is uh, individual uh, needs to be performed uh, for each each one each bands. Yeah. Press here OK. Now, yeah, now we uh, import the file. Here, we need to give the file name for our output. So, I have created scanline correction here. Therefore, this is the folder in which all the uh, correct, corrected bands should be saved. Therefore, here also create a new folder, band two, band two, yeah. Now I created, yeah. So this is my folder. Then open this one. Then, then click, give a name, a name. Here, band. one band two you can convert to tiff or for me dot mg is enough i will leave it as it is so press here ok so input file is unsigned uh, it's bit data type therefore uh, output uh, needs to be the same with the uh, input so here unsigned it is change it to unsigned it's bit here use all values in competition ignore specified values yeah ignore zeros that is yeah therefore make make it ignore specified values here uh, ignore zero in a start click this one now press here okay it's processing here this is a process list but it's it's already finished you can click dismiss or uh, if you want uh, the history you can simply uh, close here using this close button how it's processing actually uh, do not uh, remove by clicking dismiss it will help you to remember the history or the path you followed before close simply close now observe in to review change uh, to view click home then add views so create to the view so I uh, in the first pin click this one and now add add uh, the original the original uncorrected none that image so it's hidden now also in order to open convert to imagine dot img dot tiff sorry this is dot tiff so this is one two now open Fit to free, yeah. Congregation, okay. Kito. This means, yeah. I didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, this is our original landsat image. And I will compare here by adding how our corrected image uh, looks like. Band 2 here. Band one, you will create a band now. We saved in M, uh, dot mg file format now hidden here. So I need to convert into this just file data type into dot image. So I will search here
<coughs> now uh, I found in uh, the, this is the file type imagine image this one click this one now with active here press here ok now click here fit to frame you can uh, easily view the change these two images now also uh, there are some uh, scan lights if to further uh, increase the resolution by clearing those scan and reverse so I will do the rest the same step here raster special then focal analysis now our input uh, is to one the, therefore I will create this will give me the folder yeah this is a folder or you can explore through uh, through this one so give it a name and change a name here to yeah this is not good okay now the new image will be set with a name this one in a folder one two now change into band assigned eight bits data type therefore also do also the same with the previous one plus zero in the start yeah apply function to all values yeah this will apply here press ok now it's the history a history we perform the first and now the second it's a done here it's a processing point now computing program for one the new one now it's done here click it cross so make it is one active <laughs> then open the new image this one first ok this is the earlier this is the current this is the earlier the current you can view also here So here you can notice the changes of moment here the second corrected and the descent first these are scan line therefore you can see here yeah yeah now uh, we can so so I have to I need to perform till uh, this scan line is completely removed from this band, band to image. Therefore, perform focal analysis. Okay, band to two, yeah. To two, okay, no. I don't want to delete it, but uh, here change to three. Yeah, this is a bit better. You can also save into this one. Yeah, to three. 2 and 3 ok here now don't forget to make sure the data type is the same with the input one now also you can specify the values you know zero stats ok let's do this ok we perform the 2 decoration and this is the third one Now here press OK here close OK. Now also we can import the new band band. Correct the band OK. Now as you can see for comparison, let's check, uncheck this one. Uncheck this is this is a new. Uh, whereas this is old. As you can see, uh, we need to correct also uh, here. Uh, doing the same. Still some scan line uh, error is observed here. Now we can uh, compare. I already performed uh, to a uh, correction for up to eight eight correction here. 
as you can see we can visualize how a uh, scanner line errors are corrected as you can see yeah now this is uh, the first correction and uh, now this is the second correction the third correction we can visualize in such a way the fourth correction the fifth correction it is now flurry the six the seven and uh, the eight the final this is the final our corrected image so based on your interest you can also correct to uh, band uh, nine band uh, two to nine you can correct till uh, nine yeah for me i performed uh, till eight so you can visualize and you can zoom here you can zoom and visualize the correction and uh, this is uh, how uh, we can correct it using KGIS. So uh, I corrected, and then only the uh, important one for band correction is band 2, therefore, band 2 is corrected with uh, this is the, the new image. So we can use uh, this image. And uh, thank you uh, very much for today. I hope uh, we have accomplished how we can correct Landsat 7 using QGIS.